The basics of the grid view control are covered in session 11 of the Essential Skills course. But the basic features of the grid view control can be rather limiting. In this lesson, you will use templates to fully customize a grid view control. To begin, open the Market Trader project from your Sample Files folder. Now view quoteadmin.aspx in your web browser. This is a simple admin page for the quote database table. Notice that the grid view control displays the market ID foreign key. It would be better if you could see the market name here. In this example, the grid view control is receiving records from a link data source control linked to the quote database table. The quote table contains details of quotes, but it doesn't contain details of markets. Market data is held in the market table. You could solve this by creating a stored procedure that returned data from both the quote and market database tables. But the grid view control would not be able to apply automatic editing features. The grid view control can only automatically edit data that originates from a single database table. The technique that you're going to use in this lesson enables you to extract data from the quote table and related data from the market table without interfering with the grid view control's automatic editing features. Close your web browser now and open quoteadmin.aspx in design view. Now you're going to replace the market ID in the grid view with a new template field. Open the Quick Tasks menu of the grid view control and click Edit Columns. Now remove the Market ID field from the selected fields list, add a new template field from the available fields list, then use the arrow buttons to move the new template field to the top of the list, and set the header text property of the new template field to Mark it. Then click OK. If you have trouble with any of these steps, refer to Session 11 of the Essential Skills course. Next, you're going to customize your new template field to display the market name. Open the Quick Tasks menu of the Grid View Control if it isn't open already, and click Edit Templates. The grid view control switches to template editing mode. Now add a label control to the item template by dragging and dropping it into the item template box. Set the ID property of the new label to label market name. Now open the Quick Tasks menu of the new Label control and click Edit Data Bindings. A dialog appears, allowing you to select a data field to display in the control. You're going to use a Custom Binding to find the related record in the Market table and return its Market Name field. Click the Custom Binding radio button if it isn't selected already, and type the following code into the code expression box. eval market dot market name. This code works because Link is aware of the relationship between the quote table and the market table. You can retrieve data from any related database tables in this way. 
Click OK now, and switch to Source View. You can now see the code that has been generated. Notice the code text equals percent hash eval market dot market name. Percent tags are used to insert C sharp code directly into the page's HTML code. The eval method runs during the row data bound event of the grid view control. It is used to display values from the grid view control's data source. You could achieve the same result by adding C sharp code to the row data bound event handler of the grid view control. But the technique that you've used requires less code. View quote admin .aspx in your web browser now. And as you can see, the market name is displayed as expected. Now click one of the edit buttons next to a record. The date and value fields are automatically made editable. But the market field is not editable. This is because you have only added a control to the item template of the template field. To enable the user to edit the market, you would need to add an editable control to the edit item template of the template field. You will do this in the next lesson. That's lesson 7-9. Close your web browser now. And close Visual Studio. You've now completed Lesson 7-8. Use the grid view template field.